Welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. My name is Alan, and this is Jane. We're so glad that you could join us today from our kitchen in the beautiful state of Oregon, USA. We would like to share with you a recipe for a delicious orange cake. Well, I've had the pleasure of tasting this cake before, and it is moist, fruity, and tasty. But best of all, it's vegan. Thank you, Alan. That's a very nice compliment. You're going to have a big slice of cake when we're done. Oh, sounds good. Oh, how about we get started and let's introduce the ingredients. Well, Alan, the first set of ingredients mm -hmm. are two and three quarter cups of cake flour, one half teaspoon of baking soda, mm -hmm. two teaspoon of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of salt. Next, we have one cup of vegetable shortening, such as Smart Balance. We also have two cups of organic cane sugar and three ounces of soy milk. We also have the grated zest of one orange. Finally, these are the ingredients for egg substitute. Mm -hmm. Here we have six ounces of liquid flask, three tablespoons of pumpkin puree, and this is a mixture of one half teaspoon of xanthan gum in one ounce of hot water. For our vegan orange cake today, we're gonna use a um, combination of flax, mm -hmm. pumpkin puree, and also xanthan gum. Personally, I think this is a much healthier way to bake because it is cholesterol free and it is also low in calorie. Jane, I've seen flax seeds before, but how do you make a liquid out of it? Well, I have a secret, but I'm gonna share it with you. Later on, we're gonna go to the stove and we will boil the flax seeds okay. and it will strain it and it will come out like this. Well, right here, I have a pan, it's already uh, hot, and this is our flax seeds. We have 100 grams, and the water I already pre-measured, so it's 20 ounces. So first, I'm going to pour the water into the pan. The flax seeds. And we're going to stir it a little bit. We're gonna let it sit for about four to five minutes and um, as soon as it boils, um, you wait a little bit and strain it right away through a strainer because if you wait too long, it will solidify. Well, now the flask has been boiling for a few minutes and I think it's ready. So we're gonna pour this through a strainer and you wanna do this right away because again, if you wait too long, it's gonna solidify. Now you don't really need to use the whole thing for this cake, but if you save the rest of it in a freezer, you can use it for another cake or two later on. It keeps for many, many weeks. So here it is. So I will kind of stir it a little bit, get all the liquid out. And I'm gonna throw the rest away, the seeds basically. So here it is, this is the liquid flats. The, the, the texture of it is almost like egg white, just kind of slimy, but that, that's why it binds all the ingredients. Uh, for the cake, you want to let it cool before you combine uh, with the flour. The other two ingredients for egg substitute are pumpkin puree and xanthan gum. Jane, could you speak a little bit more about the xanthan gum, please? Well, my pleasure. Well, xanthan gum is a fermented sugar. It comes in a powder and you can find this at some specialty food stores. If it is not available, then uh, you can substitute it with uh, vegetable gum. Mm -hmm. uh, xanthan gum serves as a binder and also a stabilizer. Mm -hmm. It keeps the individual ingredients from separating. To dissolve the xanthan gum, you have to mix it with hot water. Mm -hmm. So for one half teaspoon of xanthan gum, you use one ounce of hot water. And you have to mix really fast and vigorously. And at the end, you have a paste like this. Well, Alan, are you ready to make the batter? I'm ready. Okay, how about this? I'm gonna mix the batter, and would you help me by grating the orange? I would love to. Well, in making a cake, the first thing we always do is to cream the sugar with the shortening salt. This is Smart Balance, by the way. So this is sugar. So I'm going to turn on the blender so it's a little, little uh, noisy. Let's lock it. 
So the creaming process takes about two to three minutes, basically. In the beginning, I turn it kind of slow. On, on this particular blender, the speed is about two. Mm -hmm. And once you see the sugar and the shortening kind of mixed together, then you can turn it faster. So the um, sugar and the shortening is already mixed, so you can see it's a cream like that. The next thing we do is to mix the, the egg substitute, and this is flax. This is pumpkin. And this is xanthan gum paste. Everything goes in here. We're going to turn on the mixer again. I think I'm done with the orange. That looks good. I see that these ingredients can be used in any type of flavored cake, not just orange that we're making today. Well, you're right, because you can use like a berry flavor, you can use banana, or any kind of fruit. So these ingredients basically for basic cake. it looks like. So this is the liquid portion. It has sugar, shortening, vegetable shortening, which is smart balance that I use, flax, pumpkin, and mm. xanthan gum. So it's, it's really a very smooth mixture. The next things we're gonna add are our dry ingredients. I combine, you know, all the salt, baking soda, baking powder, and you're gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna use the handle. Now, we're gonna Put it in into our creamy sugar shortening mixture. It probably takes about four to five minutes. Okay. You know, again, like I said in the beginning, you start very slow. You get the flour kind of mixed into the um, wet ingredients. Actually, the next thing is really the uh, the uh, soy milk. Okay. You can use water, but I prefer soy milk because it gives the cake a little flavor, a little texture, and it kind of make it creamy. Okay, we're gonna turn it fast. Are we ready to add the orange yet? Yeah, can you go ahead and... I would love to. Dump it in for me. Perfect. Okay. In the... The orange zest not just give the cake the flavor, but it mm -hmm. also um, make the cake orange. Can you smell the orange from the batter yes, here? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Great. So this is the consistency that we're looking for. So here it is. It's very creamy, very creamy. And it has a tinge of orange, but when you bake it, the orange, the color of orange will come out even more. So you see the orange cake, basically. And the smell is wonderful. Well, hey, Alan, can you get me the kick pans in the back there? Sure. These cake pans have been prepared ahead of time. What we've done is sprayed a little bit of oil around the inside rim of each pan and then sifted some cake flour along the inside of the rim as well. We've also placed some wax paper at the bottom of the pan, and this helps keep the batter from sticking. Well, I normally prefer to bake in two separate pans with a somewhat of a thin layer of batter because it, it bakes a lot faster. But if you prefer to, to bake a thicker cake and slice it in half, that's perfectly fine. So I'm going to pour it in the pans right now. So I'm just going to divide it in half. Hey, um, maybe you can turn on the oven for 350 degrees to bake. Absolutely. I see you gently spread it out from the middle all the way exactly. to the sides. Exactly. Now, I'm going to tell you another trick. Okay. There are different kinds of cake pans in the market. The aluminum one will bake the cake probably a little more evenly, and it doesn't darken the cake at the bottom. The thicker cake pans will bake the cake um, much more evenly, so you don't have that dome in the middle. 
Um, I have the thicker kind, so when you, when it comes out, you'll see a flat cake. Hey, Alan, do you want to put these uh, cake pans into the oven? I'd love to. The oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. And for these uh, cake pans, you want to bake them for 30 to 35 minutes. If you uh, bake a thicker cake, it takes about 50 to 55 minutes. While we're waiting for the cake, I'd like to have some tea. Hmm, I feel like having a cup of coffee right now. Hey, we can have both. We'll be right back. Please come back to join us again tomorrow on Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. We will be making our vegan whipped cream topping and decorate our fragrant orange vegan cake. And now, please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next, wishing you many sweet pleasantries in your days. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG.